AO. In this video, we will utilize render targets to show player location in the world. First, we will create a blueprint actor. We will add a scene capture component to it and rotate it towards floor. Next, we will measure scene in order to correctly position the blueprint so that it can capture the entire world. Here we have a scene width of around 3000 cm. So we will set the scene capture component at 1500 cm height. Drop the blueprint to the scene and set it as well at 1500 cm on X and Y coordinates. Now let's create a render target asset. And set it as the texture target on the scene component 2D. We want the scene capture component to only capture the actors we give it and leave the rest of the world black. So we will change primitive render mode to use show only list. We will also want to create a post process material to capture world in black and white only. And for this to work, we need to change capture source to final color LDR. Now we want to set this robot floor mesh to be visible in scene capture component, meaning we need to add it to the show only list. Easiest way to find actors in scene is to give them a tag and in blueprint find all actors with that tag. So we will mark this actor with scene capture tag and use this tag to find the actor in Baker blueprint. Here we will use the previously set scene capture tag to get a robot floor actor and set it as show only actor on the scene capture component. Next, we will create a post process material for our scene capture component. We want this material to keep everything not in show only list as black and everything in show only list to be returned as white. To do this, we will first use the scene texture node to get the diffuse color of each pixel in the scene. We will follow this by an if node where we will say that any pixel which has at least some color should return white and every other pixel should remain black. As a good measure, we'll end with a saturate node to make sure our values remain clamped between 0 and 1. Now we will apply the post process material we just made to the scene capture component. First, we will use the big screen in front of us to display the result of scene capture components bake to the RT map. To do this, we will make a very simple material, make it unlit and add a texture sample node with RT map as texture. Next, we will use the same screen to display the live location of the player on the map. We will do this by adding a mesh above character in the shape we want to display on the render target or on our map. Since we are very creative, we will go with a smaller robot this time. We want this mesh to be visible only to our scene capture component. So we will tick visible in scene capture only. Our goal is to draw a black robot shape on the render map at our character's target location. The way we will approach this 
is by using a depth stencil. With the robot static mesh selected, we'll go to rendering properties. First, we will enable render custom depth pass. Then, we will set custom depth stencil value to 1. And now that we have our robot mesh stencil value set as 1, we will use it to tell our black and white material to replace any pixel where stencil value is 1 with black. This will give us shape of our robot mesh on the white floor surface. Here we will again use scene textured node, but this time we will capture the custom stencil value of the pixel. This will give us value on all channels, but we can just pick red and call one minus node to actually get black pixels where stencil value is one. Finally, we call min node, as minimum between a white pixel and a black pixel will be black. We mustn't forget that our scene capture component 2D only sees show only actors. So we need to add our character and in turn its child overhead robot mesh to this list. Otherwise, the scene capture wouldn't be able to read the stencil value we've just set on small robot mesh and we would get no information from our scene texture custom stencil node. And yet again, we will use our good old scene capture tag to find the character actor, so that the scene capture component picks it up and uses it as show only actor, along the big floor robot. Starting the game now, we will see ourselves on the render target. Looks sort of weird. Anyway, one more useful thing we can do is bake a static texture from our render target. We will start by creating a new function on our map baker and simply call it bake. This will be a very simple function containing only one node. Render target, create static texture, editor only. Awesome name. Here we will set the render target to our RT map. Set the name of the exported texture to whatever we want. Change the compression settings to masks as we are exporting a black and white mask in this case. And finally, say no to MIP maps. As this function name implies, it can only be called from the editor. So let's make our bake function editor callable as well. Finally, since we are now baking without running the game, our begin play function will no longer be called. This means that we need to set our show only list another way. And here we will use construction script just for that. If we call the bake function now, we get the current render target exported as a new static texture. And as most newborn babies, it is born upside down. To turn it up, we will simply rotate the scene capture component by 180 degrees and bake again.